Hello everyone, I'm Thomas Patrick Ward. Um, I'm 25 and I was a pro. Um, my biggest wins I've prepared so far will be winning the uh, British title and defending it and winning the IBF European. I'm in New York City at the minute, we're fighting in Kansas next Friday, live on Showtime and a WBO World Title Eliminator. So some big things happen. And you're watching Keep Calm on Box. Keep watching. On, the, on November the 21st on pay-per-view, we have the IBF and the WBC welterweight world champion Errol Spence Jr. versus Danny Garcia. The champion is unbeaten with 26 wins, 21 by way of knockout. He has a 5 star rating on box rec. For them 21 KOs, it gives Errol Spence Jr. a KO ratio of 80% world rankings, he is ranked at number 1, USA rankings, he is also ranked as number 1, he is now aged 30, he boxes out of the southpaw stand with a height of 5 foot 9, reach 72, in 2019 he had 2 fights, uh, the last one against Sean Porter getting a split decision victory, and that was for the WBC and the IBF welterweight titles. A win over the uh, unbeaten Mikey Garcia. Uh, that was for the vacant WBC Diamond Welterweight title and the IBF World Welterweight title. Uh, Errol Spence Jr. getting a unanimous decision in that one. He has wins over Carlos Acampo by KO. A win in 2018 against Lamont Peterson. A win in 2017, knocking out Cal Brook. Uh, that was for the IBF World Welterweight title. Wins over Chris Algieri in 2016 by TKO. A win over Phil LaGreco in 2015. Wins over Samuel Vargas by TKO. Uh, Raymond Charles in 2014. And in 2012, he made his debut, getting a KO victory against Jonathan Garcia. His opponent, Danny Swift Garcia, has a record of 36 victories with only the two sole defeats. He has 21 knockouts to date. That gives him a KO ratio of 55%. He has a 5-star rating on box rec. World rankings, he's ranked at number 8. USA rankings, he is ranked at number 6, he is only aged 32, so just 2 years older than his opponent, he boxes out of the orthodox stands with a height of 5 foot 8, reach 68, let's have a look at a few of his wins and losses then, in 2019 he had one fight against Adrian Granados by getting a KO victory over him, and that was for the vacant WBC Silver Welterweight title. A loss against Sean Porter in 2018 by unanimous decision going to Porter. And then in 2017 he lost against Keith one time Furman. Furman getting a split decision in that one. He has wins over Samuel Vargas, Robert Guerrero by unanimous decision in 2016, wins over Paul Maninagi, Lamont Peterson, Mauricio Herrera, and in 2013, he defeated Lucas Martin, the Tise, the Argentinian fighter, by unanimous decision. That was for the WBC and the WBA Super Welterweight titles. Win over Zab Judah, 2013, wins over Amir Khan, and then when he really stood out for me, when he defeated Eric Morales in 2012 for the vacant WBC super lightweight title. Morales, very good fighter, very experienced in Danny Garcia, took him apart, and yeah, he won by unanimous decision against the legend that was Eric Morales. And then in the rematch in 2012, uh, he KO'd him uh, in 
back in 2007 defeating Mike Denby by KO this is a very good fight pay-per-view we have a, a 30 year old going up against a 32 year old in Danny Garcia and you know Danny Garcia has bags of experience you know I mean he made his debut in 2007 so you know he's got loads of experience he's fought some really good opponents in Eric Morales, uh, Amir Khan, you know, Paulie Malinaji, you know, some good fighters, he's all, you know, he's got some good wind, wins under his belt, noticeably Eric Morales, Amir Khan, uh, Keith Furman, you know, Paulie Malinaji was a, was a good win, so yeah, bags of experience for Danny Garcia. And you have to question, you know, uh, Errol Spence Jr. Jr.'s uh, opponents. And I have uh, Errol Spence Jr. winning this in what I think will be a very, very close fight. And I think it goes to 12 rounds. And it's for the WBC and the IBF uh, welterweight titles. And I have... Errol Spence Jr. winning this by uh, majority decision after 12 rounds of boxing for them two titles. Thanks for watching as always. Let me know your thoughts on this fight. Who do you have winning and who do you have, who do you have losing this one? Thanks for watching as always.